Congratulations. 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 The South Bend Regional Chamber and YPN South Bend introduce you to the 2022 Michiana 40 Under 40 class. Brought to you in partnership with the Community Foundation of Elkhart County, First State Bank, and Jordan Lexus of Mishawaka. The program is also supported by Gibson, the South Bend Clinic, and South Bend Tribune. I'm Christine Karsten with WNDU-TV. Let's meet the 2022 recipients. Raquel Buari. Shelby Cook. Paige Corbelis. Nick Eltroth. Michael Fennec. Amanda Fox. Sam Fuller. Lindsay Gerke. So I have a hard time asking for help. And I'm getting now as you know, I mature in my professional endeavors, I'm realizing that asking for help is the smartest thing you can do when you need it. It's, it's the best thing for your company and best thing for your work product. If I could tell my younger self anything, it would be that if you can get out of your own way, you can do anything you want to do. To be yourself, always. What other people think about you is none of my business, and if you just move forward with choices that feel real to you and authentic to you, that's what you need to do. My first week when I got out of school uh, a few years back, um, my boss had told me to try to learn something new every day. And even if that's not professionally, if that's just something at home, that'll go a long way. And so I'd tell myself uh, to do the same, um, to always uh, um, try to learn something, even if it's the smallest thing uh, on the lawnmower or it's something big at your job. If you uh, learn something new, uh, it'll it'll definitely put you, put you forward. So my professional aha moment would be in uh, law school where they taught us to ask questions. And uh, I've, that's something I've carried through with me into my career and uh, realize you can actually get a lot done, learn a lot, and accomplish what you're, what you're shooting for by starting with questions. I would tell my younger self not to worry what other people think of you and don't apologize for being unique and different. Dance in the car, have fun, and never apologize for being who you are. One pet peeve of mine uh, that's become a joke in the operating room is uh, just unusual background noises, uh, whether it's suction or beeping of different machines. Everyone kind of catches it uh, and tries to stop it before I mention it. Uh, and then there's a few random songs that when they come on, everyone knows to change the, <laughs> change the station. If you could invent something, what would it be? Um, so I was talking about this with my husband on the way here, and I said um, a contraption to help me get out of a sports bra. <laughs> because if you know, you know, and the struggle is real. <laughs> and then we kind of narrowed it down to a um, garage car wash, something that you could set up in your garage to pull in, wash your car, and it does it for you, and then when you get in the next day, it's clean. <laughs> hey, I just want to congratulate the class, the 40 under 40 class. This is a really highly competitive uh, process every year, but you have been selected because you're the best of the best in our community, and you have uh, made a difference each day making this community a better place, and we wanted to just honor you uh, because of that good work. We know it's just the start of your work, and we know you didn't do it because um, you wanted to honor recognition, but your peers have recognized the good work that you have done and thought this was a worthy recognition, and our selection committee agreed, and we're thrilled to bestow this honor. You join a select group of folks in our community that have, have achieved this um, in the past and forever. Uh, you'll be able to, to mention to your friends and family and co-workers that, uh, that you receive this recognition. So on behalf of the Chamber, the community, um, the previous classes, we just want to offer our congratulations. Patrick Hess.
Dr. Kelly Hill. Regina Hill. Gage Hudak. John Jones. Ashley Jordan. Emma Jordan. Gina Cam. I think you come to the realization that the path that you think you're going to take isn't always the best one. Um, take everything day by day, um, eventually you're going to land where you're supposed to be. One of the things that I've always learned is, well, learned more recently, is to ask questions. To You don't have to try and figure it all out yourself. People love to talk about how they got somewhere and will give you, you know, tell you how they did it and what helped them. My professional aha moment is take the vacations. Just take the vacation. Tell, um, tr trust me, they will figure it out. Take the vacation. I was about three years into my job and uh, there was a, a week where I think I closed five real estate deals all in the same week. And it was just kind of at the end of the week, I just sat back and thought, wow, I just did five deals in one week. And I, I think that was, all right, this is, uh, I, I'm actually good at this. This is uh, something I see myself doing long-term. I would say my biggest pet peeve is my work ethic. Uh, I always believed in any industry or anything you do, if you work harder, um, you can achieve things that no one's ever seen doable. So I would say my pet peeve is hands down my work ethic. My professional aha moment was when I had the opportunity to coordinate and build a wheelchair ramp for an 82-year-old veteran. That moment just was so inspiring as well as empowering for me to realize the collaboration that we have in our community and the beauty of really putting our hands to work. Our hands aren't just hands, they're opportunities. I would tell my younger self uh, that greatness does not happen in 40 hours a week. Um, the fallacy of work-life balance is something I feel like people use to make you feel guilty about having some really good work ethic and work as hard as you can and as hard as you want for whatever it is that you want to accomplish. With what you know now, what would you tell your younger self? Be patient. The Community Foundation of Elkhart County is proud to be a presenting sponsor of the Michiana 40 Under 40. Congratulations to the 2022 class. Your business successes and community service are improving the quality of life in this region. We're proud that you call this place home. Thank you for inspiring generosity. Brian Key. Kristen Klosky, Michael Kozak, Penlin Lorries, Cordell Martin, Stephanie Moffin. Wally McQuaid. Sarah Milovich. One of the biggest things I would tell my younger self is always, always focus on relationships. You know, relationships are, I think, some of the most important things in life in general, you know, whether it's, it's family, professionally, personally. Um, you know, great friendships have come through my work and through school and, you know, those are something I always want to make sure I focus on. Uh, the worst advice I was ever given was to be quiet. Um, I really enjoy talking and sharing my opinion. Um, so the worst advice would be to not share my opinion or not to share my beliefs. Um, I think that holds back a lot of individuals to what they believe and what they wish to share with others. 
Uh, I really, I, I can be annoying here, but I like people to work to their uh, highest level and just not necessarily accept things for, you know, accept the status quo as what must be. Uh, and I love working to get that maximum out of everyone. Um, so my biggest pet peeve is when people cut their fingernails in public. Ooh, great question. Uh, the stupidest thing that I've done, ever done professionally, um, I would say putting my future in someone else's hands. Um, and to expand on that, um, just thinking that someone is going to look out for you in terms of your future and what that looks like. Um, that was a learning experience for me to always just bet on myself and to be my own advocate. <laughs> what is the stupidest thing you've ever done personally or professionally and what did you learn from it, if anything? My husband and I, we uh, live on a small six acre hobby farm and we have Nigerian dwarf goats and we bought one goat and you never do that. You always buy at least two. <laughs> And that took us about two hours to figure that out. <laughs> With what you know now, what would you tell your younger self? Uh, to buy stock in Google, because then I'd be very wealthy in that right now. <laughs> what I would tell my younger self is to really, um, really spend time developing those mentor relationships. There are so many people that we can learn from, uh, mentors in different capacities, whether they work at your company or whether they work outside of your company, uh, but really spending the time to, to learn from them and take advantage of all of the wisdom that they've uh, been able to accumulate during their time working in the same position or similar positions. First State Bank's Be First Bankers are proud to be a part of this community. Like you, we're invested in Michigan, growing businesses, helping homeowners and depositors along the way. Adria Manier. Ben Modlin. Gabriel Montez. Lindsay Pianowski Shabir Kubudin Megan Ramirez Mallory Roberts Michael Shoemaker So I don't, I don't think I have any superstitions, uh, but I, I don't like to walk over grates. So when we're in a city, I, I tend to like sidestep. So I don't know if you'd categorize that as superstitious or just pure fear of falling, <laughs> um, but yeah. With what you know now, what would you tell your younger self? <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> With what I know now, if I, if I, were to be able to tell my younger self something, it would be just stay the course. Uh, you know, things suck right now, things are, things are different, but you know, I've got a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, and uh, I'm, I'm in a great spot. Um, so stay the course, trust your gut, trust your instincts, they'll, they'll serve you well. I think that I've learned um, that actually organizing my life in the beginning sets every single cog and wheel turning in the correct organized way for the rest of the day. And my career has grown as I've gained more of that organization, sort of forced upon me by life's decisions like having a kid. I always played team sports growing up and you know, getting to, into the professional world, you try and conquer everything you can and you don't remember that, hey, you've got a team that you can rely on. So being in an office where we are a team and I'm able to work with them as a team has been very beneficial for me personally and also I think as a firm. So yeah, the worst thing I ever did was try and do it all myself. Nobody can do that. I don't really have any superstitions, um, but the thing that annoys me the most is when people don't know when to stop talking. Definitely when people chew too loud 
and at the restaurant with chips and salsa and things, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I would tell my younger self to trust the process, that every little thing counts, everything is connected, and just enjoy it. Be present in the moment and just trust the process. I would say one of my pet peeves is lack of direction. Uh, there was a quote, or I was told, and I, I truly live by this now, is uh, plan your work, work your plan, and that's really stuck with me. Jordan Lexus is honored to be a part of this year's celebration for the 40 Under 40 class of 2022. Hi, I'm Todd Ogus, General Manager at Jordan Lexus, and I want to congratulate you on this achievement. At Lexus, we encourage all of our guests to experience amazing, which is why we're so proud to be a part of this program, which recognizes the amazing in each of you. We wish you continued success, and we thank you for all that you do in our community. Jacob Smith. Steve Smith. Sarah Taylor. Ryan Towner. Sean Towner. Colleen Wilcox. John Yoder. Kia Young. Yeah, so my pet peeve uh, professionally is those that come to me uh, with complaints or problems but they don't come with any kind of solutions or they don't have a desire to help with that issue. Uh, and my other one personally is people that don't use turn signals. It just drives me nuts. So, The worst advice I've ever been given um, would be to, to not act until you're completely prepared because I find there are very few things in life that you can be prepared for whether it's having kids or starting a business or, or whatever that dream is or challenge that you want to take on. It's certainly good to have a plan and count the costs a little bit, uh, but I encourage you to leap out into that void and just go for it. And you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out on the way. That's how things get done. Ooh. <laughs> I got both. Superstition, if you don't, if something bad happens or it's too real in like a dream or a daydream or anything like that, if you don't speak it out loud, it'll come true. Uh, come to find that. And a pet peeve of mine is people not following through on their word. I think that's, that's very important. Even if you can't do something, just communicating, I can't do that, or I can't, but I can help you find someone who maybe can, is very helpful to people. Don't leave people out on a limb. That's a pet peeve of mine. Full moons on school days. A pet peeve. Um... When people chew their mouth open, it drives me crazy. Pet peeve, tardiness. I grew up in a family where if you are on time, you are late. <laughs> and that has carried through into my adult life. Um, and so I absolutely, I'm always there five, 10 minutes early. If I'm not, there's something wrong. So I think a pet peeve would be, uh, I hate, messy desks. The ironic thing in all of this is my desk is always messy. Oh my goodness. Um, people that don't follow through. Uh, accountability is everything and your word is everything. And so if you say you're gonna do something, do it. Thank you to our 2022 selection committee comprised of business leaders from the Michiana region. Michiana 40 Under 40 is presented by the South Bend Regional Chamber and YPN South Bend in partnership with the Community Foundation of Elkhart County, First State Bank, and Jordan Lexus of Mishawaka. Along with these supporting sponsors, Gibson, the South Bend Clinic, and the South Bend Tribune.